considering we were a new league, a new team, and then we went away from home in the second leg and we beat uh, Vancouver Whitecaps. Speak on the best game you've had. Um, you don't have to say who was against, but um, you know the team, what you did in the game, why you had such a good game. I think when I was younger, like under fourteens, I might have scored a hat trick against Arsenal. We might have won seven three at Hayland, and those <laughs> games were built up like to be like our classicos for that age. Like <laughs> everyone who may have played up will come down. It'll be such. A, it'll be only like a a Sunday morning at eleven, but. To us, it was like a final, and obviously the bragging rights. We all really knew each other, and I just kind of signed for Chelsea and thinking like what everyone was telling me about who this player was and that player was. At the time, it was really big for me, and that's always stuck with me. Um, so in terms of like academy football, that would be one of my best ever games. Mm. I remember that game, man. Reese is. <laughs> Reese is... Well, I thought that, that age, I thought Chelsea players were all robots. That's what I thought. Yeah, it was a bit, it was a bit freakish. Yeah, like that's what we had that feeling at Arsenal that Chelsea boys they were like feeding them something or they were doing something that was making them like robotic. Like we just felt like that. I did anyway. I remember that yeah. game. Reese had the had the um, Mbappe trim, one all over. That's our new series. <laughs> <laughs> that was no that was, Yeah, man. But Dan, I reckon Dan's got the best game that he's played in. Um, for me, probably one of the games I played last year, I scored the hat trick. It's not, it's not that I like, it's not that often. You score goals in it, but a hat trick is you a hat trick in it. You can't top a hat trick, so it was good that game. Um, and like things I done in the game, you know, when you're feeling good before. Prior to that game, I've, I've been on a good scoring spree. So prior to the game, the defenders know about you. You know that the defenders are worried every time you get the ball. So they show you that respect of, like, they're not getting as tight. So you have space to turn and try things. So I scored one left foot outside the foot and a nice little tap-in as well. So that was probably my best game. So I got, got to take the ball home. Nice, bro. Um... H, what about you? Obviously, it could be maybe you got a goal in the game, being a being a defender, or it could just be you just had somebody in your pocket and they just were in there and just couldn't get out. I don't know. Um, I can't think of one game in particular. I can just feel like I'm just of a period. Like you know, you, as a centre back, you have a period where you're just really on form. Like you feel like you're just always one step ahead the, the centre forward. I think yeah, my time. At, St Albans, I've just like made the step up to like the Conference South or whatever, and that that those first two months, like not many people knew what to expect me because I no I didn't nobody really knew me or whatever. So um um yeah that period there I just felt like everything I was doing was just right you know um yeah it was just it was just yeah that that was a a period for me that I was just yeah I felt like I felt almost unstop unstoppable like. You can bring any centre forward to me right now, and I'm sure to be able to handle him. Yeah. yeah. What about um? What about you, Faye? <clears throat> I would say um, I think I'll go a bit different. I've, I'll go. I'd have to say my debut, like my first league professional appearance, um, it was against Bristol City, um, and I think I'll say that because. Obviously, you know, obviously as a young player coming up, you always want to make that good first appearance and you build it up to that moment. And obviously you have a lot of nerves and whatever. And I think when I played that game, I just remember like almost talking myself through the game. And like, I just, I, I think I came on and I played like number 10. And I'd not really played there before, but I don't think I gave the ball away. I played like half an hour. I don't remember giving the ball away. And I felt like I just like, played really well like even better than I expected and it just kind of like made me feel like yeah like this is what I want like, I want to I want to play like at this level all the time and 
make a career kind of thing. And it was just like a eye opener for me of like, okay, yeah, I've made it, I've made an appearance and like I can do this kind of thing. So that's mm. like, I would say that was probably um like a memorable game for me because I played well. What about you, Jordan? Um, it's it's a hard one because I have many different emotions in terms of how I felt about certain types of games. Um, yeah. I think probably I would say two or three stick out in my mind, especially in recent times. Um, one being I was in Germany and um, I hadn't played for like about 10, 10 games in the, the new year. So you come off uh, January and it's like a new pre-season type of thing. Um, so you're getting ready to go into the second half of the season after the winter break. And um, the other striker, he was playing like 10 games in a row and he only scored like one goal. And I was on the bench. And I wasn't playing. So then it came down to the fact that the manager um, would have got sacked if he never won the game. And it was a big thing like, all the board members came into our dressing room and told us this and everything like that. So everyone's wondering, what is he going to do? Um, Cause this guy, you know, he was like a first team player and, you know, he had a good reputation, but he just wasn't scoring at the time. So then, um, yeah, we do like an inspirational video before the game, everything like that. And then the team gets put up. And I'm thinking, listen, if this guy don't put me in the team, then he's lost his job. Um, and then, put me in the team and that was basically the start of me uh, saving his job. I ended up scoring. Uh, we won 2-0. I assisted the other goal um, and, you know, not having played 10 games and to have a game like that, that really stuck out for me. Um, and after that, I went on a run. So the next two games, I scored two goals in the next two games after that as well. So, um, I would say that's one of them for me. And then also last year, I'd say one of my best games was um, just the magnitude of the game, considering we were a new league, a new team. And then we went away from home in the second leg and we beat uh, Vancouver Whitecaps. And I scored in that game. I think that's like the best game I've had in terms of like my hold up play, uh, decision making, my runs, like tenacity, all of that type of stuff. Um, so, um, yeah, that game, I would say that was like a big game for me. Here at 4258, we're proud to present you with the best football specific content. We work with many companies and many ballers to give you, the viewers, the best content possible. You, the viewer, we're always looking to help you improve your skill set. In order for you to improve your skill set and for us to keep making these videos, please click the link down below and buy some equipment. The equipment helps us run this channel and also you subscribing to the channel helps us producing more of these videos to help you with your skill set and your knowledge of the game. Thank you for supporting 4258. Um, so next question, well, two, two more things. Um, just quickly mention probably the best stadium or the most surprising stadium you guys played at um, with the atmosphere and things like that? Bramall Lane, when got promoted from League One to the Championship, they were already up. We were already down, but they were the full we were going to lift the trophy that day and the 30,000. That's the biggest crowd I've ever played in front of. Madness, madness. I would say Molyneux played Wolves. Um, yeah, they they um they filled up the stadium so to play us which was surprising but yeah that atmosphere was like was like electric mine I, I haven't really had the, the luxury of playing in like football league stadium so um the sort of best atmosphere I'd say Dulwich Hamlet um, yeah Nate, Nate said that Nate said that to me as well yeah uh, Dulwich Hamlet yeah the atmosphere for uh, you know a step two side it's unreal. Um, you know, every other week they're getting over two thousand. But the magnitude of the game, I think, yeah, the playoff game, and it was like, yeah, two thousand two hundred, and it just felt like a, it felt like a proper football league game. Um, you know, home and away fans shouting, 
Um, yeah, just yeah, the atmosphere felt felt proper, man. Yeah, it's probably the closest thing I've had to to playing in a, a a football league game or football league atmosphere, really. Yeah. Well, you um, know, mine probably the game against Liverpool at Anfield. That was like wow. You got to the stadium just even before even before the crowd did there, just walking in the stadium, the lights are shining even brighter, crazy. And then afterwards coming on and playing at that you just you wanna be at that level and I can only imagine it for for them man. They enjoy playing at that level all the time in front of that many fans. I can't remember how many people were there but it was a lot. For more content like this, like, share and subscribe.